been a bit of a cluster today, but I'm finally getting out on the road, um, splitting a route with somebody, and I don't know, it's just like Amazon Sunday city-wise. Well, first day back, got here at 8.30, didn't get on the road until, I don't even know what time. 11, 11.30, uh, it's like 1.30 right now, and I'm going home, delivered a bunch of Amazon packages, was a little rusty for my first day back, but uh, I did it, and I'm happy, and I'm proud of myself, and damn it, I'm glad to be back. Oh, how you doing, girl? What you got to say? You got anything to say? Oh, hi. Meow. Hey, girl. What's up, guys? I don't even know if this is, I feel like this is a very aggressive close up to my face. I don't really know how I feel about it. Wait a minute. It's been so long. I don't even remember how to do this anymore. Okay, it is March 4th, 1130, 2021. I mean, if you're here, I guess we all survived 2020, which was a hellacious year for very many people. But uh, yeah, I don't remember how to start these things or how to do these things anymore. It's been so freaking long. Um, and it is freezing. It's 34 degrees. I'm sorry if I am shivering at some points. I just got in my cold ass car and I don't have remote start. So, you know, I don't have these little luxuries of life. So anyways, there are a lot of things that have happened naturally. And uh, I would say the first thing is... I am back with the post office. So I don't work at the same office I worked at last time. I work at a smaller office and I am working as an ARC. Or an ARC. I'm working as an, I'm an ARC. I'm an ARC. Not an ARC, an ARC. Okay, and so what that is, it's like assistant rural carrier. So basically I just work Sundays and holidays. That's why, ARC is such a good position because it is part-time. I mean, I wish it was more than just one day a week, um, but it sounds like there might be potential there. Um, I don't know. I just got off the phone with my boss, so I don't know. Maybe I'll find something out. But anyways, I got news. She called me and said that I have a check to go pick up, so I'm going to take y'all along. Let's go get it. All right, it's gonna be a little bouncy because um, I'm driving now. Can't be holding my phone. I gotta make sure I'm driving my car and pay attention, paying, paying attention to the road. So I know there have been some questions about, you know, why I left the post office. You know, I I wanted to put a video out to kind of explain what had happened and I don't know, you know, just kind of offer up an explanation, but then I kind of felt like, you know, I don't really owe an explanation. I don't, I don't need to get into like all the nooks and crannies of it. Um, what I will say, and I'm, I feel comfortable saying is that 2020 was just a very difficult year uh, for lots of people, but for for me, it was a very difficult year. Um, I experienced some significant losses in my life, and um, my dad's health changed. He was hospitalized for a period of time, and that was scary because of COVID, and it was in the summer, so I feel like COVID was kind of um, not really... What is this car doing? You see 
that? They're just in the middle of the road. You know, COVID was kind of scary and not really known at that at that time. So it was scary having him in the hospital, not being able to see him, you know, having a compromised immune system. It was very scary. He um, was kind of our daycare situation and, and then maybe Scarecrow wasn't going to school anymore. So it just all became very challenging. And at the beginning of the year, in February, my grandma had got diagnosed with stage four cancer and I'm gonna get a little choked up, but uh, God actually gave us a lot more time with her. She has since passed, um, but we had her up until November. So for me, it felt like the right decision to leave the CCA position. Um, a lot was just thrown at me all at once and it was difficult to find balance and it was having an impact on baby scarecrow so it, it was just very difficult i was a stay-at-home mom for like the first three years of his life maybe four years of his life so to go from that you know every single day to you know now some days i'm not even seeing him because the position of cca is so demanding that was hard um, and for me I felt like the best solution was to leave. I always felt like if the post office had a part-time position that would be perfect. I'd be totally fine with that. Um, for those who follow me on Instagram y'all know that I do other things also. I sew which kept me pretty busy in, in the fall. Um, I do shift now. I did do DoorDash quite a bit, but I'm kind of like weaning off of that because it's really starting to suck, like pay-wise, it's just not worth it. Um, yeah, I'm kind of over DoorDash, but shift it seems to be pretty promising. So that's kind of like supplementing the difference in my pay to where it is okay for me just to be doing you know, one to two days a week with the post office and this ARC position. I stumbled upon the position like kind of on accident. You know, I was like on my candidate dashboard, saw the position, I was like, wow, that's not really far from my house. That would pretty much be a great job. So I applied for it and I wanna say that I interviewed, I can give all the specific dates because I know some people like to know specific dates. Why can't I talk right now? I know people like to know specific dates uh, so they can kind of gauge how long it's going to take for them to hear anything like in the process. So uh, I know that I interviewed, I want to say it was in January, like 26th maybe. And then my first day wasn't until like the contract or whatever they send you to your house. <laughs> This is very bouncy, I <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so like that little, you know, paper they mail to you when you first get employed. Um, it kind of outlines like all your details, like your job title, your pay, your job location, your name. I think it might include your employee number, uh, which, fun fact, my employee number did not change. So the employee number I had when I was a CCA is still the same as, you know, being an ARC. So on that sheet, it says that my hire date, I believe, is February 13th. Um, and then last Friday, which I forget what day that is. Let me look. Got it. Okay, so February 26th, I had to go to the academy, which for an ARC is one day. I did not have to attend orientation because I'm a returning employee. Um, the, the day I left the post office would have been the end of June 2020, so I'm not sure how long like the lapse is to where you would have to, you wouldn't be processed as a returning employee. Like, I don't know. 
is it a year is it two years is it a year and a half I don't know but either way like that didn't apply for me so I just was processed as a returning employee so I got to skip orientation there were only three other people in my academy class and that was kind of cool um I felt like it was safe like I felt like I didn't have any concerns about COVID. I felt like it was safe. I felt like everybody was um, respectful and yeah, it was cool. So it was like an eight hour day and that was it. And then I reported to work on Sunday and it's a lot different than the city side because with the city side, I mean, for some of you, this isn't new information. Like, you already know this. But for me, this was brand new information. I was like, what is going on? This is so weird. It's different on the rural side. You don't have a time card. You're not swiping, you know, for your moves. Like, you're not doing any of that. There is no time card. There, it, There's not. There's You don't have a white card when you go to a different, like, a different office. Or you get a green card and on the green card you mark your time uh it's really weird like i guess it's kind of like something they used to do back in like the day with the military this is according to the rural carrier that trained us at the academy which i loved her she was amazing but I guess back in the day, like you had this time, like this time clock and this time card, and you would punch it, like you would insert the card from the top, and then the very first, like the very bottom of the card, is where you mark your first move or like your first day. But it was weird because when I went to the office, I went to on Sunday, a guy that I had to split a route with said that that's not how they do that there. So I don't know if I can get another green card, I can show you guys, but. Um, kind of strange it's definitely way different um but it's not difficult it's just different you know it's not what you're used to oh here i am i'm here oh i can't put that that lady just opened her car door <laughs> oh my god Ooh. why there's snowflakes oh my god it's so cool so i got my check it's just an eight hour check from when i went to the academy for the day and i did end up getting like the pin sent to my house so then that way like because even though my employee like number is still the same my login didn't work anymore so it's like i had to redo that process usps sent me a new pin in the mail and then I had to go through the whole process again of resetting up my SSP account or whatever the hell it is. Like, I forget what it stands for, but like light blue so I can get into light blue. And I was able to get in there, do postal ease and get my direct deposit set up again. And it said that that would take effect like pay period six. I don't think my next check I'll have to go to the office to pick up. Every time the line is stupid. So I don't really know where I'm gonna be working this Sunday. Um, she could said that it could be the same office I worked at last Sunday. And I guess also that she reached out to someone, I think in HR or maybe training or whatever department, who knows. Because I guess she borrows rural carriers or something. Or maybe she borrows ARCs to help her out, like at her office. Um, but she was like, why would I do that if I could just use you? So she was wanting to find out if I would have to be trained or not. And I told her that according to the lady at the academy training, if we decided we wanted to do the rural route, like be an RCA, we would have to go to the academy for three days or five days, whatever it was. So... She said once she finds out from that lady, she's gonna, I guess, see about putting me through the academy. And I'm fine with working more than one day a week. I mean, I just, I don't want to do full time. I'm fine with part time. I'm fine with like a few days a week. That's cool. Oh. 
Um, can I get an extra large coffee with two cream? And then I'll do a medium coffee with soy milk. No, thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, I don't really know what I was doing in that last video. Uh, I don't know if this is really cohesive or makes any kind of sense, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end it. And if you have any questions or I mean, I hope I answered most of any questions that you might have. Um, if I didn't, I guess just go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them in the next video assuming there will be a next video and I don't know you know I don't know that I'll have many updates working one day a week probably not um I'm definitely doing shipped a lot more so I thought uh since I have nothing more to add regarding USPS and the ARC position I thought I would just go ahead and insert a fun little shipped compilation. So enjoy. I don't know why this is getting people's attention, but it is. I'm officially done for the day because I got to do lottery later. You guys want to know what that order tip though? You're dying to know, right? Hold on. Ready for this?